We're Doc and Skip, and this is our post-show video. Hey, coming up tonight, our Periscope broadcast on Periscope. Well done. I'm happy to report, once again last night, Bentonville, Arkansas, hashtag riot free. Two nights in a row, I didn't think we'd see it. Really odd, a bunch of places were rioting in support of Baltimore, like DC, New York, I think Seattle, but it was riot free here. Kind of disappointing, to be honest with you. It's almost like there's only a small segment of America that actually believes with these protests. So apparently ISIS is trying to recruit some of the rioters in Baltimore. Well, it's a good recruitment tactic, of course, these people being easily influenced. So ISIS used social media to send out some messages, things like, with ISIS, there is no difference between black person and white person. Yeah, because once you slice that carotid artery, you bleed out all the same. Yeah, with ISIS, they will torture anybody. Black, white, man, woman. And plus, once you're burned to death, we're all black. Some hypersensitive cops in Atlanta arrested a woman for some things she put on Facebook. Some satirical things like, all black people should rise up and shoot every white cop in the nation starting now. Dude, that's that's I not mean, satirical, man. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like she was condoning it or something. No, no the very next word she says is, I condone black on white killings. No, she's just joking around. No, it says it right there! But freedom of speech, though. Dude, just because she said that in her post doesn't excuse her from threatening cops! Wow, I can't believe you don't support the Constitution. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. We also talked about some odd new information that came out about the death of Jeffrey Dahmer. Let's be honest, pretty much everything about a man who kills and eats people is going to be interesting. Cal presented his app of the week, which was pretty much let somebody spy on you so you can stalk people. I'm really curious what Cal does in his spare time. They should check his basement. We featured a story in the audio file that's not getting a lot of attention involving the Marshall Islands and Iran. Really reminds me of Gulf of Tonkin. This is a really bizarre story, and one of the strangest things is, as Skip said, you're just not hearing a lot about it. Why? What's going on? Now it's just the Cliff Notes version for it, so if you want the full story, listen to the podcast. A morning blaze tip of the hat to the Hazard County, Kentucky Police Department for actually doing their job and a job that a lot of people won't do, and that's cracking down on welfare fraud. Police Chief Miner Allen, you're our type of guy. Good job. You'll want to hear the details about this EBT fraud on the pop train and how they're just stealing money from you. Insert your own Dukes of Hazard joke now. You know, they're just some good old boys, never meaning no harm. Not you, the audience. And we mentioned a huge anniversary that happened last week, the 30th anniversary of the new Coke flop. That ended up being pretty good. That was a flop. Cal thinks this whole thing was just a marketing ploy. I'm not so sure. That would have been a really play in the long game there. Yeah, and the other thing is, these people aren't that smart. <laughs> they really are. You're giving them way too much credit. In other news, Coke was founded in 1886. I know. Who knew? Seriously, I had no clue it was that old. Coca-Cola, rotting your teeth since Grover Cleveland. I love the concept of Liberland. I'd like to live in Liberland. I, I like the ideas. I'd like to start a Liberland, but I hate the name Liberland. It sounds like Liverland. Who wants to live in Liverland? I don't even like liver. What would you call it? I don't know. Freeland. Oh, so you would take it to the welfare state. Free land for everyone. Oh. No. He's at Doc Thompson Show. I'm at Skip Lacombe on Twitter. You can hear our full show by clicking the link in the description. Please subscribe to our channel, too. Shut up, what? <laughs>